Is there, so we've been talking a little bit about cryptocurrency, but is there spaces where this kind of blockchain ideas that you're describing, which I find fascinating, uh, do you think they can revolutionize some other aspects of our world that's not just money? A lot of things are going to be revolutionized. Is uh, is uh, independent of finance. By the way, I really believe uh, that um, um, finance is uh, an incredible form of freedom. I mean, if I'm right. free to do everything I want, but I don't have the means to do anything, that's a bad idea. So I really think financial freedom is a very, very important. But you know, but you, just I can say that you know, against you know censorship, you write something of the chain, and now nobody can take it out. Can take it out. That is a very important way to express, you know, um, 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 our view. And um, and then uh, the transparency that, uh, that 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 you give, because uh, everybody can see what's happening on the blockchain. So uh, transparency is not money, but I believe uh, that transparency actually is a very important ingredient, also of finance. Let, let's put it this way. As much as I'm enthusiastic about blockchain and uh, uh, decentralized finance, uh, um, and uh, we have actually our expression, we're trying, we're creating this future five. Because as much as we want to do, we must agree that the first guarantee of financial growth and prosperity are really the legal system, the courts. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we may not think about them and say, "Oh, the courts are a kind of b- b- bunch of boring lawyers." But without them, I'm saying there is no certainty. There is no um, notion of, of, of equality. There is no notion that you can resolve your disputes thing. That's what thrives the commerce and things. And so what I really believe that the blockchain actually makes a lot of this trust essentially automatic by making it impossible to cheat in very way. Mm-hmm. You don't even need to go to court if nobody can change the ledger, mm-hmm. right? So. It essentially is a way of, uh, uh, you cannot solve a legal system reduces to a blockchain, but what I'm saying, a big chunk of it can actually be guaranteed and there is no reason why technology should be antagonistic uh, um, um, to legal scholarship. It could, it could be actually coexisting and one should start to doing the interesting things that technology alone cannot do and then you go from there. Um, but but I think that is a, uh, Essentially, is uh, it, it, blockchain can affect all kinds of our uh, of our behavior. Yes, yeah, so in some sense, the transparency, the uh, required transparency, ensures honesty, prevents corruption. So there's a lot of systems that could use that, and the legal system is one of them. 